Let's breathe it all in, my friends. Yo, let's connect to the deepest part of you right here. Breathe in. Out. Let's get real and authentic with this breath. My friends, oftentimes we're clenched towards life. We're operating in fear, uncertainty, scarcity of the future, right? So therefore, we're always trying to attract what we want or resist what we don't want. Or we have all these MOs and everything and this is all just, I guess, distancing ourselves from the self, from the moment that holds all. My friends, we gotta realize that this too shall pass, this very moment. And really how we use this moment, where we place our attention and what we alchemize creates the next moment and the moment after. How did you feel when you woke up today? What was the high point of today? What's the low point of today? How about this week? You see, my friends, everything's in constant transition. It's in constant flux, right? And we have to like program, us, program ourselves into an attitude of openness. You see, my friends, life is not about what you make it. It's not about what you're trying to manifest or attract or, you know, like become or create. It's about simply how open, how open can we be to this moment? Can we breathe it all in, right? Be real with ourselves. Be real with the breath. What are you really feeling right now? What's really going on in your life, right? But don't let that move you. Don't let that, like, create scarcity or feelings of loneliness or you know, like loss, because loss is a real thing, my friends. Life, we can't control circumstance, you know? Like, who or you, you know, we don't know when we're gonna die, what's gonna happen tomorrow, right? We can't control fortune, she's very fickle, you know? And like all these things, and yeah, like we can like wanna like, you know, create self-improvement or actualization. But at the end of the day, my friends, your fulfillment, deep fulfillment and a, and a sense and a feeling of alignment comes from serving that which wanted to be served today by being open to each and every moment. You see, my friends, the alchemist understands. The alchemist understands. There is no good and bad, okay? Where you are, what you're feeling, it is about being able to breathe it in, be open and unmoved by it, but still dance with it, right? to be like centered in a deeper source inside of you. So like my challenge to you today, my friends, is to like, yeah, you can know what you want or know what you're improving on. But ultimately, as the moments come, right, especially more the painful or resistant ones, it's just to stop and breathe it all in, right? Can we just breathe it all in, right, into our center and remember the one that was before and will be after, right? Like take a step back from this life and find joy in each moment, in this dance, my friends. It, it shall end, right? The pain always is accompanied by an equal end of the spectrum on the other side. The pendulum will always swing, okay? It's life, it goes up and down. There's an ebb and flow. She's gonna love you one day and hate you the next. You're gonna, the money's gonna be good one day and tight the next, you know? And we can live our lives clenched to the bad things happening and then attaching to the good things happening, right? And just be moved by little us and never really fulfilled. Always this like bad taste in our mouth at the end of the day, you know? Not really feeling successful. And my friends, alignment, abundance, deeper fulfillment, alignment with your uniqueness and inner world and outer reality occur by our, a level and ability to be open to breathe in this moment, to learn the lessons and receive the blessings that are in store for you. And my friends, by opening, opening with an attitude of openness to this moment, with the ability to breathe it all in and kind of like disattach from holding so tightly, right? We open the space for the most beautiful things to come into our lives. When I can attain to an attitude of openness and breathe it all in today, breathe it all in tomorrow, when I can do that just for like a few instances throughout the day, the things that align into my life, the realizations I make, whether I'm alone or manifestations occur, it is so beautiful. It is so deeply moving because the core of you is connected. My friends, if we can stay open to the moment, 
breathe it all in and pay attention to your attention. My friends, wherever we place our attention, we become. We become whatever we look at, okay? So if we can have an attitude of openness and place our attention into the core of our essence, into the depth of our being, into the depth of our love and wisdom, right? And like breathe through the moment, breathe it all in and let the wisdom be thy guide, you know? To pay attention to your heart space and have an attitude of openness, right? When you meet people, when you have interactions, this attitude of openness to all the feelings, right? To them, to receiving them, having your attention focused on not some kind of like motives or what you're trying to get or like, you know, all this like ego control, but instead, you know, a deeper sense of depth, love, and just like being. My friends, if you're gonna do something, do it connected to you. Be you through the whole thing. And I guess that's my message today, my family, is this let's attain an attitude of openness. Breathe in the moment. And when we go to do something, do it from the depth of your being. Have fun with it. Let you shine through with a glimmer in your eye and glee in your heart, my friends. That's, that's how I'm looking to take life today. How are you looking to take life today? Because life is not what you make it at the end of the day. It's not what you manifest. It's not what you're trying to attract. It's whether or not we can be open to the lessons, to the leveling up, to the alignment that is ever present. And whether or not it's based off how you take it, my friends. How do you take what comes to you? And if we can breathe through the bad, we open up space for the good. When we can breathe through the depths of us, the depths of us is connected to the moment. And then, you know, you can make $100,000, but if you, if you don't have the emotional capacity to feel $100,000, it's meaningless to you. It's empty. My friends, let's be connected and open. Hell yeah. If you guys want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I do really powerful coaching one-on-one uh, -on -one work with people uh, to create alignment with your inner and outer world. So if that sounds interesting to you, hit me up, link in the description where you can apply for a free one-on-one. -on -one. I do a couple different things, whether that's conscious entrepreneurship, you know, you name it. Let's dive in together. Also, I really appreciate when you hit that like button, my friends, or share this video with a friend. And drop a comment of what you thought about this, how this applies to your life. And if you have any questions you would like another quick video about, I love diving in here. My friends, I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. Let's breathe it all in.